Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss expression number eight. So very, very popular number, especially for name numbers. Um, I've noticed in Western numerology that people will literally uh, change their whole name legally to get the eight, which is a huge mistake. If you're not actually born with the expression number eight, don't change your name. You're going to have a lot of financial problems. And you don't know how it's going to correlate with the rest of your chart. My argument is this. When you receive your name at birth, that's the name you were meant to have. That's the name that's meant for you, that came from the formless realm, which is the spiritual realm, and came down to what we have here, which is our physical self. So when you go and change these things, you're going to interrupt your own process, you're going to interrupt your own journey, and you're going to change the trajectory of your life. Sometimes, I'm not going to argue, it might work, but other times, and most times, it does not work. All right, so number eight is governed by Saturn. It's the planet of karma, justice, time. Right? So this is, um, when it's an expression number, these people are very, very ambitious, very confident. Confident, but not self-assured. And remember, I'm doing this from a Pythagorean standpoint. This doesn't mean it's exactly how it is, but this is the Pythagorean Western way of looking at it. Um, pragmatic to a certain extent, but very, very loyal. So the emotional characteristics of expression number eight are extremely loyal people, uh, great for teamwork, but they have to more or less be the leader or captain of the team. Um, perfect for politics, anything administrative like HR in a company, um, entrepreneurship is a yes, yes. And then any sort of business, any sort of business ownership is going to work great. All right, guys. So my advice for expression number eight, just to start right off with is this, you're going to have to definitely look into getting your own business or at least playing a major role within the business that you're in, meaning be needed. If you're an expression number eight, you're saying, oh, my life isn't going that well. I know COVID, everything's happening right now where your economy is down to pretty much nothing. Look at where what's needed and look where you are in a trajectory to where everyone else is in your network. And what do people around you need? And that's what you need to provide. Once you are a needed person, a person that's providing value and you focus on that each day, just providing value, even just for free. Like if you live at home and you're younger, like I'm 26, but if you're younger, living at home, you can just say, you know what, I'm gonna wash the dishes every day. I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna keep things maintained. It's gonna get you more respect. And with that respect and responsibility that you take, and you're gonna have more power. Aids usually don't have to get this advice anyway. You guys typically know what to do, especially for your own life. Um, but something I do want to bring up is this. The eight is very hard on karma, whether it's in the expression number category or if it's in the life path number category. So if it's in the expression number category, what I would say is this. Um, you want to control thoughts, words, and deeds a lot, meaning you want to apply discipline to them. I'm applying something new and going into 2021 because I'm a life path eight and I'm applying that you need to harden your thoughts, words, and deeds with discipline, meaning actually observe your thoughts. I mean, there's a lot of spiritual context out there saying you're not your brain, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying any of that. What I am saying is that you need to control your thoughts. Be very mindful of how you're thinking because your karma is going to be based off how you think, of what you listen to, of how you view yourself, of your confidence level, of your emotional level. And that all starts from having discipline within thoughts. When you have discipline with thoughts, your words are going to be chosen more carefully. You're not just going to waste your words talking about whatever every single day. When you have that under control, people are going to start noticing a major difference with you. Then you're going to get to the action part. You get to the action, your deeds, and then you're going to start doing things like what I said earlier. Wash the dishes for your parents. Go to your job. Be number one. Um, go to extracurriculars. Try to do the best. Clean up after other people. Do things that may seem self-sacrificing or almost... A little bit diminishing to your pride but in the long term this is going to make people respect you and then over almost overvalue you because when that component when you go missing out of the equation all of a sudden that's a very big deal a lot of things that were getting done for free are now not getting done so when they call you back you can then charge them for it it's that simple you can then charge them for it literally and that's just really how it works if you're an expression number eight, remember, this is all about justice. You're going to get what you justly deserve. And expression number eights, they tend to get a lot. Um, they get a lot of good, a lot of bad. And it all depends on the two circles there, the spiritual and the man, and then the physical. If you can master your spiritual self, meaning master that inside internal processing, so the thought process first, your thoughts are going to control your emotions and then your emotions are going to control your behavior. And that's what makes a personality. If you can control that personality to actually be somebody that's always on business, somebody that's always trustworthy, somebody that does the right thing um, in the eyes of just uh, morality, you're going to make it very far. Now, if you're somebody that says, 
I don't want to be trustworthy. I want to be cunning and scrupulous and ruthless to get ahead. You may get ahead short term, but long term, especially for eights, you're not going to get ahead for long. There's going to be a big stop sign that Siren's going to put, and that's where you're going to feel restrictions. A lot of people with eights say, oh, it's hard to have an eight or it's kind of bad luck, blah, blah, blah. It's not necessarily bad luck. It's the fact that you're being restricted because you're not following a certain discipline that you should have during a certain circumstance. And that's the restriction that you're feeling. Saturn forces discipline onto you. I was suffering from um, arthritis pretty much for the last couple of years. And I realized that I wasn't stretching anymore because of the work I was doing. And I wasn't really working out the way I should with proper posture and form. A lot of people my age wouldn't get that. They get that in their 40s. Saturn put it on me from now. I'm a life path eight, but same thing. Expression is the same way to me. So it's pretty much almost the same thing. Um, so if you, the reason I'm giving that example is this, is if you have problems in your life and you're saying, well, I feel very limited or very restricted or I just feel like I can't get out of this certain situation, you can't get out because you're not being disciplined and focused enough. The discipline is going to provide your mind with the focus that you need to figure out new ideas and innovate new schemes to get out of that said place that you're in. You're going to not complain anymore because you're going to realize that voice in your head is just being negative, which in turn is propelling the negativity that's happening in your life and it's manifesting itself in different ways. The A is teaching you how to manifest what you want in life, but you have to first have control over your thoughts and emotions to do that. If you can separate your emotions, especially from business, you will be a millionaire within a year. A year to four years, easy. The reason why is because when you lack emotion in business, you lack that good or bad tendency to say, this is going good or bad. I'm just going to follow the process and do what needs to be done each day. You're going to notice manifestation starts happening a lot quickly because you're actually, um, or quicker, excuse me, but you could, because you're detached. All of a sudden you're detached and just doing what needs to be done each day without any complaints and staying at least in a neutral standpoint or if anything positive because you're going to be looking at your vision each day in your head and saying, I'm one step closer to getting there. So I give a more of a detailed explanation on the eight just because I know a lot of people have problems with the eight. I personally am an eight and I'm not being biased, but what I do notice is that the eight um, in the master numbers, they tend to have a little bit of extra problems that come with them because people don't know how to define what they have, the energy that they have inside them and they don't know how to control it and let it loose properly. So with the eight, you just need to discipline everything that you do each day. From the time you get out of bed, start focusing on what do I do when I get out of bed? What does Shem do? Do I make my bed right away? Do I brush my teeth right away? Do I shower? Do I work out? Do I stretch? Do I eat a good breakfast? Do I show up to work on time or am I late? Am I giving my body the right nutrients each day or am I just filling it with junk? When you get to the bottom of these things is when life begins to change drastically because you start becoming mindful and when you become mindful, you get more present. With presence comes more intelligence. And with that intelligence, you can manifest new things. All right. So I already gave you guys the ideas for expression number eight. You guys are definitely destined for a lot of very good things. Um, it's just a matter of really putting what I'm saying into effect immediately by even getting up today, Saturday, getting up tomorrow and Sunday and just focusing on what you do for each day to manifest what you want. If you can focus on that in each moment, you'll start to realize that you're actually not doing enough and the eight is actually quite easy. The eight just needs you to focus and actually harden yourself with discipline. With discipline equals freedom. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching today. That would conclude the um, episode for the expression number eight, Pythagorean Theory Way. Um, if you guys do have any questions for me whatsoever, please leave in the comments. Aside from that, guys, like, subscribe, holla at me. That's it. Thank you.